Hi, Sue. Yes, we have five patients that need to be seen today. So Dr. Avila is available at 1030. I'll have the cart and be ready. In addition to telestroke care, Telespecialists offers non-emergent, general teleneurohospitalist rounding. Dr. Avila, a board-certified neurologist with Telespecialists, is available at 1030, but won't be in the hospital. She'll be rounding on the patients through the technology of telemedicine. Good morning, Roberta. My name is Barbara. I'm going to be your nurse today. I have Dr. Avila here from Telespecialist, and she's going to do your follow-up exam. Hello. Good morning, Roberta. It's nice to see you again. We met yesterday in the emergency department, and I've come back to reevaluate you and see how you're doing. Telespecialist's comprehensive service provides expert 24-7, 365 emergent consultations. It also allows specialists like Dr. Avila to follow up with patients like Roberta beyond the emergency room. Now I'm gonna have Barbara help me out here and do a couple of tests. I want you to give me a nice big smile and show me all your teeth. Very good, stick your tongue out at me. Excellent, shrug your shoulders up nice and high. Very good. We're gonna do something called finger to nose. Take your right pointer finger and touch your nose and then Barbara's gonna hold a finger out in front of you and you touch that finger back and forth. Roberta's standard neuro exam can be completed with the nurse's help and observed in real time by Dr. Avila so, Roberta, it's, it's really wonderful that you've recovered so nicely. Yesterday, uh, we were noticing that your left side was weak and that you were numb on your left side, and now these symptoms appear to have resolved, which is fantastic. I'd like to take this time now to discuss with you the tests that you've had overnight because they've addressed some of the issues that might have caused the symptoms to begin with. So, first of all, we did a study called an MRI scan of your brain. Uh, the MRI scan is a much more detailed study than the CAT scan that you had yesterday. Um, and this is able to look at the, the brain tissue in a more detailed way. And it can tell us for sure if you've had a stroke. Unfortunately, the MRI scan of the brain did show some mild areas of stroke on the right side of your brain, which would be responsible for the symptoms that you, you experienced on the left side of your body. We also did an examination of the blood vessels the blood vessels in your head and also the blood vessels in your neck. And we've determined that everything in the head and everything in the neck looks open and healthy. So we don't see any blockages, we don't see any plaque, and we don't see any evidence of small blood clots left over that may contribute to further symptoms. Finally, we did an echocardiogram of your heart. That's a sonogram of your heart. And we looked to see if, if it was pumping correctly, if there were any holes anywhere that may contribute to shunting of blood and uh, cause stroke. And that as well looks normal. So the echocardiogram looks great. The heart is functioning appropriately. While we were examining your heart monitoring, we noticed some arrhythmias. And what that means is that your heart is beating irregularly. It's a diagnosis that we call AFib or atrial fibrillation, and it does increase one's risk of stroke. Access to digital records, scans, and studies allows for seamless, accurate diagnosis. In Roberta's case, a brain MRI shows mild evidence of stroke, and an EKG reveals the probable culprit, atrial fibrillation. Now that we've found the AFib, we, uh, we know how appropriately to treat it. And we also know how to use medicines in the future to reduce your risk of having strokes from AFib again. Once evaluated for rehab needs, Roberta will be discharged with telespecialist notes to her family physician for follow-up and medication management. We want to make sure that you don't have any rehab needs once you leave the hospital. Once you do leave the hospital, we also want you to see your doctor within the next week and that's so that we can make sure that all of your medications are in appropriate order and you have access to everything. Thanks so much, Roberta. I'm so glad you're feeling better. You take care now. Thanks. Bye, Roberta. Bye. Okay, so we will continue on with our neural rounding. Four more patients at this hospital will benefit from Dr. Avila's expertise this morning. How many others could be helped? Telespecialists, board-certified physicians can become an extension of your team whether training your physicians in telemedicine to reduce call burden or assuming the lead in the delivery of telemedicine services, 
telespecialists shares your commitment to efficient, high quality, and compassionate care for your patients. If you'd like to learn more about how patients can receive care from board-certified neurologists via telemedicine, call us at 866-785-7769. Telespecialists. Anytime. Anywhere.